Hello and welcome! Sildre is here with Black Desert Online. Look at the combat going on in the big background against the sturdy, essentially the elite monster. And imagine if this monster was your average, fresh from the spawn factory, enemy of the game. Let that sink in for a bit and give it some thought, because I honestly believe that this game lost so much potential with the fact that, well, firstly, this action combat system in the game is awesome, alright? It is really, really well thought out, but the enemies aren't there to match it at all. Think about it for a moment. Imagine if each individual monster gave, for example, much more uh, XP and better loot, and was a fight from anywhere from 15 seconds to all the way maybe to 90 seconds, depending on your level and how well you do. You would, you would have to actually evaluate the monster's attack pattern, uh, what kind of weaknesses they have, for example, does the monster block, like this one in the footage here, um, and then you would have to dodge its attacks, take advantage of its weaknesses, uh, and so forth. If you turned every single fight into something like this, players would learn, firstly, to play their classes, to actually use the tools available to them, instead of just mindless spamming one or two AoE attacks, as we have in current combat. You could turn this into a fighting game MMORPG, essentially where PvE uh, would be, you know, preparing you for the endgame PvP. If each individual monster had slightly different tactics, strategy uh, in general, and some different mechanics as well. Or even if it, have, for example, had different attacks depending on different circumstances. For example, if you are far enough away from it, it would try to, to do a kind of a lunge attack to reach you, or it could try to um, do an, a small AOE attack when it gets, you know, low on HP, anything of this sort. There are hundreds and hundreds of little tweaks and mechanics you could add into a single creature to make a single creature feel tougher, feel satisfactory when you kill it. But instead, instead, we have this. We are mindlessly grinding dozens of monsters at a time. Monsters with almost brain dead AI in many cases. They just run at you, stand around, to wondering what the heck is going on. Then you just AOE them down using one or two abilities. In a game where you have this many skills, you have active dodge systems, you have so many combos, uh, combo systems you could do, uh, you have immunity frames and so forth in many classes, which essentially none of this, none of this PvE prepares you for the PvP in any meaningful fashion. Like, in all honesty. The PvE is just, okay, uh, which of these abilities kills packs of monsters the fastest? That's the abilities I do, okay? Everything else is kind of meaningless, because you just pull dozens and dozens of monsters at once, and you own them in a couple attacks, essentially. Um, I honestly think this game has so much potential to be freaking awesome PvE-wise. It's like, it would teach people, it would show other MMORPG companies that, hey, look what we can do with PvE in MMORPG without it having to be a raid boss. But no, no. The bo world bosses in the game are basically HP sponges which one-shot people, or they don't. And PvE is like this, farm up a hundred million monsters. How about giving us, make us farm, instead of farming 100 million monsters, make us farm 1000 monsters, but we make each individual monster um, a little bit unique and actual fight, actual threat. People would learn how to play their class, play the game, and would feel very satisfied with every single encounter, because they actually use their brains and their bodies and the character they are playing.
Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. I don't know if you agree or disagree with me on this point. Uh, it's a very subjective point anyway. But I personally just believe that this could have been so, so much more from the PvE grinding point of view. But it just unfortunately is not.